Happy Saturday. How you doing? Hey, I want to talk to you today about five words you should never say when you pray. Five words should never come out of your mouth when you're talking to the Lord. Amen. This is going to be good. It will it will stop your prayers from being rejected. Amen. It'll, you'll start getting much better results when you pray. If you eliminate five words. I'm going to show you what they are. Amen. Glory to God. On this happy Saturday. And the reason we're doing a Saturday video is because so many people want them. Amen. They love these 15 minute videos. So praise God. And I like to do them. Amen. Because I just feel so connected and so close to you folks when I do these videos. I love God's people. Amen. I was looking up, uh, happened to see some information on uh, personal pastors today. They talked about Paula White being President Trump's personal pastor. I thought, how nice that uh, she she's a wonderful minister and uh, she's just right here in Florida. And I thought, how nice that she is his personal pastor. Everybody needs a personal pastor. And I am personal pastor to a lot of people because of most people do not have a pastor they can talk to. Somebody who will keep the devil out of their life, keep the blessing into their life, keep them healed, amen, and just be there for them. Amen, glory to God, especially during this time. So I'm always here for our partners. I am personal pastor to all of our partners. And unlike a lot of pastors, I am available. So glory to God. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Our message today is coming out of this book, How to Pray, which we did yesterday on offering day as a giveaway and if you didn't get your offerings done yesterday, I'm, we're going to give this away again today. So if you do your offerings today, which some people do on Saturday, I want to send you one of these books. Amen. Or if you did it yesterday and you didn't get your name and address down, uh, I want to send you one of these books. So send me, uh, text me to my regular phone number, text me your name and address, and I'll put one of those books in the mail for you. And if you already have one, give it to somebody else. Amen. Give it to somebody as a gift. Glory to God. How to Pray. It's a wonderful, wonderful book. Shows you how to get results when you pray. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Everybody likes me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Amen. Say that every day. Glory to God. You will be blessed. Hallelujah. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tell everybody you know about these videos. We want everybody to be blessed. Amen. We just want everybody to be saved, healed, and delivered from poverty and sickness. Glory to God. That's, you know, that ever since I got saved, that has always been my agenda. I was accused years ago in this church in Wisconsin. They accused me of having my own agenda. Well, I did. I said, well, my agenda is I want everybody to be saved, healed, and delivered. I mean, what's wrong with that? Well, my agenda has never changed. It's never changed. It's I believe that's God's agenda. Amen. Share these videos with five people. If you're watching them on Facebook, hit the share button. Amen. Share it on your page. Share it with your friends. Send uh, the people in your contact the uh, YouTube link for this. Amen. Glory to God. Five words you should never say. It's in this book on page 35. 35. Here it is right here. 
in this book, the five words are, I'll tell you right now, when you pray, never say these five words because these five words are, will build doubt and unbelief in your mind. Five words. So stay away from these five words. The five words are, if it be thy will. Never pray if it be thy will. Never. You will never hear me pray if it be thy will. Lord, if it be thy will, you can heal me. We know what God's will is concerning healing. Mark chapter 1. The leper came to Jesus. He said, if it be thy will, you can heal me. If it be thy will means if you want to. He said to Jesus, if you want to, you can heal me. And Jesus said, I do. Now, we know that Jesus came here not to do his will, but to do the will of him who sent me. So if it was Jesus' will to heal that man, we know good and well, that it was God's will. Amen? Because everything Jesus did was God's will. He was perfect in every way. I wish I was. Amen? I try to be. But, unfortunately, everything I've done in my life has not been God's will. But everything Jesus did was, I mean, from the very beginning of his ministry until he went to the cross and went up into heaven. Everything he did was the absolute wonderful will of Almighty God. So when Jesus said to that man who was a leper, he said, I do want to heal you. That was God's will, folks. And God is no respecter of persons. Peter said that. He said, of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. In other words, what he wants for one, he wants for all. The Bible tells us in uh, Psalm 35, verse 27, it says, let them shout for joy that, that favor his righteous cause. Yea, let them shout for joy. That, I better read it to you. Word for word. Psalm 35. Let's, there it is. There's 34. Psalm 3, 35, 27 says, Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, Let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. If God takes pleasure in the prosperity of one person, he takes pleasure in your prosperity. Because that is his will. We know by what Jesus did that it is God's will to heal. Now here's something you have to understand, folks. If you need healing, it is never God's will for anybody to be sick. Jesus healed them all. He would not have healed them all if it wasn't God's will for him to heal them all. Because we said that what Jesus did was God's perfect will every time. Everything Jesus did was perfect. He's the only perfect person who ever lived. His faith was perfect. Everything he did was perfect. He never had a bad thought. Never made a mistake. Never called in sick. I mean, everything about his life was perfect. Amen? Glory to God. He's our model. Jesus is our model. We strive to be more like Jesus. Somebody said one time, he said, you're just trying to be like Jesus. 
I said, well, I thought that was, I thought that's what we were supposed to do. Huh? Yeah, I'm trying to be like Jesus, of course. I hope to be more and more like him all the time. Will I ever get to be exactly like him? I don't know, but I'm working on it. Huh? And you should be too. We should be working on trying to be like Jesus. I have the mind of Christ. Amen. I try to, you know, when, when you get enough of God's word inside you, you'll start to think like God. I, th I think sometimes I think like God. Amen. I go to the store. I always buy too much of everything. Well, God is Mary's laughing because, you know, that God is a God of too much. Everything God does for you, he does in excess. He's a God of abundance. Amen. Why would David's cup run over? Because that's the kind of God we have. God is a God of too much. Glory to God. It's his will for us to have abundance. It's his will for us to be healed. It's his will for us to live in it with prosperity. God says, thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he who gives thee power to get wealth. This power to get wealth is available to everybody. Amen. All you have to do is receive it. The, all of the promises of God. Somebody counted them up one time and said there were 600 and some. I don't know. I never counted them. But every one of them is God's will for you to have in your life. Never pray if it be thy will. When, when people pray, if it be thy will, we had, had a guy one time who was just deathly ill, very, very sick. And I said to him, I said, do you believe God can heal you? I'm just trying to get a little bit of faith out of this guy before I speak healing over him. And he said, if he wants to. He said, God can heal me if he wants to. I could not get past that with that guy. He could, we, we could not get him to the point where he believed God wanted him to be healed. And he died. If it be thy will. Another thing you should never say is God's timing is perfect. People who are willing to wait on God's timing never receive from God. God is a God of right now. When you repent and ask Jesus to be your Savior, you're saved right now. When you ask God to forgive you because you've done something wrong, you are forgiven right now. Why would God make you wait for healing? Why would God make you wait for abundance? Why would God make you wait for the blessing? The only reason people wait is because their faith is not where it needs to be. If you're not getting what you want or getting what you need from God, find somebody, a personal pastor. Find a personal pastor who can believe for you, whose faith you can use. A true pastor is somebody who says, hey, I'll take care of that for you. You can use my faith. Most pastors don't even know enough to do that. That's what I do with all my partners. You call me, and you have access to my faith. Glory to God. Amen. That is a true personal pastor. That is somebody who knows what God's will is. Amen. If it's not God's will for you to have it, you know, like you want something that's not good for you, and I know it's not God's will for you to have it, I'll tell you that. But it's God's will for you to have a husband or a wife. It's God's will for you to have abundance. It's God's will for you to be healed and to have all good things and to live a good life. And you call me. I will keep the devil out of your life. I'll keep the blessing into your life so that you can live a curse-free, blessed life. I'm determined you're going to live that way. Amen. Glory to God. So you call me today. Also, make sure you call when you do your offerings and donations today because I want to speak the blessing over you and I want to send you one of these books, How to Pray. Because I'll do that today. Today is an extension of offering day. Saturday is always an extension. You call me today and we'll get this book to you.